unbelievable strength. None of us could do it. We all tried. The damn things are so heavy, and I tried a couple so times to my wrist. I used to watch shit. <laughs> Hello and hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Alright, today I'm going to do a reaction video about the channel of Laron Movie and TV. Please do subscribe to this channel to show our support to them. And today we're going to see the Iron Shake best moment wow <laughs> can't wait to see this one and before we start i would like to thank everyone who already support me by subscribing my channel and for those who still not yet subscribed oh, what are you guys waiting for please do support me by subscribing my channel i really really appreciate all of you guys thank you so much good people all right without further ado everyone let's go and check this video out with me let's go Let's get started. Ooh, look at his face. Introducing the challenger. Master. The Iron Sheik. The Iron Sheik. Iran. 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 Oh, he's from Iran. He's very easy to hate. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's gonna break it. Very easy to hate. Sheik gave them maybe the highest element of a heel. Sheik, I'm going to work. Oh, wow. It's easy to knock. I can be so different. Indeed, the camel punch of mine, I'm scared of all oh, zero. Kaldro did the right thing at the right time and became larger than life. Larger than life? The wrestler from Iran. My understanding is that when the Sheik first started professional wrestling, it was more about his history as an athlete his Olympic wrestling, he wore a singlet. I said, I'm tired, I don't want to work a good guy anymore, I want to be a bad guy. The Iron Sheik completely changed his physical appearance and he became the Iron Sheik. The Iron Sheik, Iran, Iran, Iran. And everybody wanted to come and see him and hoping that he'd get beat up. Bunch of stupid American here. <laughs> Ramming down across the back. Every territory in the United States wanted the Iron Sheik to be their top bad guy. You are set, now, top bad guy. The Iron Sheik. Ooh. Very, very painful hole. He's really pulling back on that man's chin. One of the rather unusual methods that you use in your training is the use of some sort of Persian clubs, correct? Exactly. Lifts those 75 pound clubs and begins to twirl them around. Not to use this term lightly, but unbelievable strength. None of us could do it. We all tried. The damn things are so heavy, and I tried a couple so times. So heavy! My wrist. I used to watch shit. Look at him! Oh. Doing them. <laughs> it's like clothes. so easy. Uh, as you look at the controversial foot gear, take note of the shoes and notice those hooks. I put some special shoemaker. It's like an Aladdin shoes. Can you make the boots like that for me? He said, yeah, and then I'll get it. These are presumably or ostensibly decorations. Look yeah, it's now, just a decoration. Once he gets him, he sets wrapped back. It's Ooh. give up. Oh, he sits back. Goodbye, that's it. He's got it cinched. This is undoubtedly it. Look at him pulling one up next. Oh, he's going to break his back. He just had a way of doing it. It was so infuriating. Whoa. <laughs> it's super hard. He is indeed one of the great world wrestling federation athletes. However, again, a lot of people do not like the Iron Sheep. Oh. And you keep it shut up and don't call USA. USA. USA is a sick country. <laughs> no the one is like him. Yeah. I, I, the word I like to use is blush story. The Iron Sheik. Because he was so brash and bold and braggadocio, it was opposite our views. It was easy to not like him. He was so different. Introducing first to my left, the challenger, the Iron Sheik. Iron Sheik not wasting any time going to work on that neck area. I was in the crowd at the garden. The night the Iron Sheik defeated Bob Backlund, and it was funny. just stunning. Oh, oh, for the roll up, he got it with the roll up. There's the bridge, go. Oh, 
It was timing. Now he's got it. He hooked back to back. He's right in the center of the ring. And Backlund's got a bad neck. Pull on it. This is, I mean, his favorite. Oh. Walked out of there with that title, and uh, we basically usher in a new era. What happened to Bob Buckley? What happened to his arm? What happened to his shoulder? Now they're putting the Hulk Hogan. There he is. Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. bring that animal Hulk Hogan for no reason because I don't know the guy I never met the guy Vern Gagne in particular is very resentful of this because until very recently Hulk Hogan had been working for him go out there break his leg and bring the title back to Minnesota I'll give you a hundred thousand dollars Vern got to him and said if you break Hulk Hogan's leg I'll give you a hundred grand And it was already over. Once I got out of the camera clutch and back into the turnbuckle, the only thing left to do was drop the leg on him. Hogan won this. You have arrived, Hulk Hogan. Have you ever seen anything as beautiful as this, Meiji? This belt is part of yours, too. Hulk Hogan, I'm not done with you. I took you tonight from one of your people. Friends, I'm telling you. People were so happy that that son of a bitch no longer had that world title. With the, all the heat and mad feelings that the fans had for the Iron Sheik, that just made that win by Hulk Hogan Ooh. even greater. Both of them are bleeding. I could stand up here for many, many hours talking about the Iron Sheik. Oh, to, to the Holy Fam was a great feeling. Oh, this is him. They, look, they were so excited, very shit. happy to see me. I used to drive the truck, put on the ring, pick up the ring, yeah. And I was referee. I pay my due. You know, it was Sheik's moment in the sun, and Sheik got exactly what he deserved. I made it to the Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks to Mr. Sonder Sonder. And all WWE. It's a world day. Why wouldn't it? My God, man. You sacrificed your whole life and your family to get a friggin' ring? Peace. Now. <laughs> From Tehran, Iran, the Iron Sheik. Devastating suplex. Oh, what a boot. Hey, you people, shut up and don't call USA. USA is a sick country. Perhaps one of the most sadistic men in professional wrestling today. He nailed him with a cane. Well, on to this day, probably one of the biggest heroes in our business. You go bring that animal, Hulk Hogan, for no reason. I think he's made his mark in history as one of the innovators, one of the legit bad guys that people love to hate. The past big crowd on the case of the Iron Sheik. He's a bad guy, but I love him. <laughs> bad guy, but I love, I love him. him. <laughs> like all of us love him. And now today, he's so respected. To this day, you see the Iron Sheik and there's no one like him. No <laughs> one like him. Well, that's it. Um, the Iron Sheik for me, he is a, a very incredible wrestler, one of the one of the best um, ever. But yeah, <laughs> even though even though she, he actually didn't have a lot of fans because 
he totally um, hates USA, I think. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but for me, he showed that he one of the great men, and uh, for me, a very great wrestler, and he was respected by all the people, and have a very great character. So, for me personally, when I saw this video, uh, the only man that uh, what I can say is the Ayushi is the only man that that we can see everyone, everybody hate him but at the same time everyone love him at the same time can you see can, 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 can you got, did you got me for me uh, he <laughs> hates by everyone but loved by everyone you know something like very it's very hard for me to describe that things and yeah he have a very great characters uh, he is um, the Olympic athlete and so on, he is a very great one and have making a, uh, you know, a world-class wrestler, of course, uh, the best moment that we can see to this legend and uh, RIP for him and yeah, we hope to see more and more person like him as a very great uh, wrestler and once again, now I repeat to the great legend and uh, the great wrestler. All right, what do you think about this Iron Shake? Do you have, I mean, uh, experience watching uh, Iron Shake? Because for me, it's like in 1980s, maybe. Uh, do you have any uh, old uh, 1970s, if I'm not mistaken, about this this kind of shake, Iron Shake? Uh, you have any experience watching this WWE WWF just let me know by dropping a comment and what do you think about this man <laughs> all right I think that's it for now I hope to see all of you again in my next video until then everyone take care and have a pleasant day ahead goodbye you went away. You've been